In this tutorial, we look at distributing multiple biomes across a single terrain, shared assets, grass resources, and masking. Gaia Manager can be accessed from the menu, Windows, Procedural Worlds, Gaia, Show Gaia Manager, or by using the keyboard shortcut Control G. Select Medium World Size. Select Desktop as the target platform. Click Create Terrain. Set the biome to Coniferous Forest and click Create Tools. In the Runtime section, set the player control to Flying Camera, Skies to Morning, Water, Deep Blue Ocean, and click Create Runtime. Close the Manager. Select the Stamper, select the Island category, and then select 2K Island 1. Raise the stamp to around Y equals 18 and reduce the Y scale to 3. Click Stamp. Now let's add the second biome to the scene. Open the Manager. Click the Advanced tab. Expand the Gaia Tools rollout. Expand the Biome Spawners rollout. Uncheck Add Prototype. And we need to modify the shared assets before adding them to the terrain. Click Add Biome for Gaia Pro Sample. Any assets shared between the biomes needs the mode to be set to Add. Otherwise the assets already spawned in the coniferous biome will be replaced by the assets that are only spawning in the area allocated to the Gaia Pro Sample biome. Select a Gaia Pro Sample Tree Spawner. Set the Spawn Mode to Add. The Grass Texture PW Grass Patch 3 from the Coniferous Forest is also used in the Gaia Pro Sample Biome. In the Coniferous Biome it fills the Forest Path texture and has a brown appearance. However in the Gaia Pro Sample Biome the grass has a green appearance. To avoid these spawners conflicting, we can create a unique resource. Select the Gaia Pro Sample Grass Spawner. Expand the PW Grass Patch 3 rule. Expand the Resource Rollout. Click the Grass Texture field. And select the texture in the Project window. From the Edit menu, select Duplicate. Reselect the Grass Spawner. And drag the resulting Grass Patch 4 onto the texture field. Rename the rule. In the hierarchy, select the Gaia Pro sample biome. Click the plus symbol in the mask settings. By default, this should be the image mask. Click the stamps button. Select masks and generic mask 3. Turn on the visualization. Set the X and Y offset to 128. Click the Strength Transform and set it to a hard S curve. I have a preset here. If you want to add a preset curve, select the cog and click New. Close the curve window and copy the mask settings. Select the coniferous forest biome, add a mask, paste the mask settings, click the stamps button, select masks and generic mask 3. Invert the strength curve. Turn on the visualization. You can see if we switch between the two biomes that they will now spawn into their own distinct areas. Select the Gaia Pro Sample Biome and enable only the Texture Spawner. Click Spawn. Select Coniferous Forest Biome. Enable all spawners and disable the Texture Spawner.
set the global visual density to 0.8 and click Spawn. Select the Gaia Pro Sample Biome. Disable the Texture Spawner. Set the Global Visual Density to 1.2 and click Spawn. To remove the border edge, we can simply paint this out manually. Or apply Procedural World's Complete Terrain Shader. CTS.